WRTR Real Talk Radio Featured guest DJs Original shows The hottest DJs from around the world And we're back What it do niggas (laughs) Welcome to another week here at WRTR Real Talk Radio Uh, Miss Lyric what to do Nothing much Ticket man you staying out of trouble do I get in trouble? Yes. Mm-mm. Quite nah, a lot. Not over here. He never get in trouble. Uh, he never get in trouble. Okay. I believe that when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, y'all, welcome to a new week here. WRTR Real Talk Radio. This week on Real Talk at the end of our show, or towards the end, if you can skip to it if you don't want, want to listen to our other shenanigans, but you will, because damn it, we're important and we have important things to say, so... For our Real Talk segment this week, I asked this question on social media, and I just wanted to see what everybody's take is on it, and we'll be reading some of y'all's responses on here also, especially off Miss Lyric's page. So, if your friend or family member started dating somebody that you were previously intimate with, would or should you tell them, or would you just keep your mouth shut? That's what we'll be talking about this week on Real Talk. So, just getting into everything. Uh, I mean, with WRTR, uh, we're happy to announce we got plenty of venues that you can listen to us on now. We got iHeartRadio. We're on Apple. Check. Yep. Pod- podcast. Podcast. Apple, Apple Podcast. Um, so, yeah, just about everywhere you are and growing. So, just definitely got to get things in order. Um, let's see. Conspiracy theories. There's a lot that we could talk about today, but just getting in on all of that, or before we get into that, I got a game. Okay, so <laughs> y'all know that. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> so, Here we go. Here we go. Since I've, since I've discovered the joy of cannabis you know (laughs) certain things happen you know what i'm saying like (laughs) you know you start you come out with like different shit and i came up with like this game when i was high and i want to play with y'all all All right you ready i just want to know before you start this Uh i just want to know i just want to (laughs) know what made you start getting high Okay. That's all I want to know. Okay, so I stopped. Okay, for one, getting high is a lot. Okay, getting high is a lot better on your body. No, a lot. uh, Getting high is a lot better on your body. You aren't doing as many um, empty calories, things of that nature. I'm over forty. You know, all that sugar and stuff. It's just, it's not great. So, oh, you know, so now because you're over forty, yeah, getting high, yes. I'm responsible now. I'm a responsible adult, capable of making my own decisions. Anyways, are we going to play this okay. game real quick or not? <laughs> of okay. course. Go ahead. All right. Everybody pick one animal. I'm going to choose one. I'm going to select cat. Oh, well, I was going to choose a lion because Leo season is approaching. Mm, choose a different one. Why? Because it's in the feline family. Tell me to choose an animal and then tell me to choose another animal that I don't want to choose. <laughs> well, the hell with y'all. Uh-huh. Y'all can't play my stinky game, anyways. Um, uh, let me think. Bunny rabbit. All right, and uh, Tigger Man. Oh, the bull. Taurus, the bull. All right. All day. So, I the bull. picking an animal, and this is, again, I came up with this <laughs> this game when I was high. So, <laughs> my whole thing is pick an animal and debate the race of that animal if they were human. <laughs> so, I chose cats. What? We're debating the reason they are a certain race. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So, for me, cats would low-key be black people. And I'm going to tell you why. People think, oh, well, you know, cat's dirty, cat's this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing. 
cats keep themselves clean. Cats are survivors. They're hunters. They go out. If they want to get fucked, you know, if they want to fuck with you, they're going to fuck with you. If they don't want to fuck with you, they're not really going to fuck with you. And they typically minding their own business till you go fucking with them and pushing them in a the corner. And then they got to fuck your ass up. Correct? Now, as opposed to as opposed to dogs who I feel like were caught, it would be Caucasian. Cats, the ca- cats are not clean. <laughs> no, cats, cats don't cats, like water. Cats, That's why clean, they clean, them, with cats their clean themselves. But let me ask you this. Would you rather deal with a, and I'm not talking about a cat box. I'm talking about just the cat itself. <laughs> no, not that cat box. Not that cat oh, box. <laughs> not that cat box. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Y'all don't want to sniff cat boxes? Wait. Okay. Wild. Anyways. All right, so <laughs> up next, we got lyrics lessons, since they don't want to play my fucking game. But you know what? <laughs> debate that amongst yourselves, listeners, because I want, like, I feel like that would spark some debate. So, like, what, so what would you say, so what would you say a, a, a bull, what race a bull would be? Go. I would probably say a bull would be more so, like, I, I want to feel like hillbilly redneck. <laughs> like I do. Why? <laughs> well, okay. Why would you say that? Well, I mean, for they one, don't bother nobody until they tempted to. They oh. don't bother nobody until they tempted to. Oh. Okay. When they see red, they gone. They coming after you. You gotta talk up, Tigger Man, because we can. Be- you can't hear me. Uh, you gotta talk into the speaker. Oh. I'm talking into the goddamn speaker. Now you are. Can you hear me, Oh, nigga. Can you hear me, This is the part of the show where I, somebody has to play my baby. Oh. I'm just saying. Okay. Can no, you no. hear me, Larry? I can. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You up in Baltimore, but they ain't got no connection. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what ain't you got down there in Oxnard Hill where you got a bullet th- bullet hole I, through your motor. I meant Fort, I meant Fort Washington now. Uh-uh. Anyway, no, but all jokes aside, so, um, no, I, I think, like, I think the bull would be, uh, you know, hillbilly, redneck. Anyways, okay. Because of the smell. Anyways, okay, lyrics lessons. <laughs> <laughs> lyrics lessons. <laughs> Up next on WRTR. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> That's right. Toilet. <laughs> Toilets are made so that people can sit down and take a shit. Anyone can sit on a toilet, and if the toilet is large enough, two people can shit together and tell jokes or make up stories or just listen. Toilets are for people, and that is why toilets are like Facebook, magazines, Febreze, toilet paper. These are things that people use when they shit together so they can open up and connect about ideas and music and other things people share. Handle toilets are just like Facebook. Button toilets, just like Facebook. Self-flush toilets, just like Facebook. No flush toilets, Facebook. We all want to connect. Sometimes we just don't know how. That's why we have toilets and Facebook. Pull up a scene for lyrics lessons. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lyric, and I'm back with my segment, Lyrics Lessons, where I give my two cents about your relationship, your friendship, and your situationship. If you guys want to send your advice, questions, or concerns, please don't hesitate to send me an email at lyricbravado at gmail.com or DM me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Now let's get into it. Mm -hmm. All right. What shenanigans shall be unveiled this week? So I have some lights, and then I have some, oh, wow. Okay. And I got All right, so we're going to start with the light. We're going to build up. Okay. All right, this first one. Um, dear Lyric, okay. is giving flowers really important? My girlfriend is upset and sometimes hints 
for me to give her flowers. I would really like some explanation on things, especially from you. I'm fairly new to the dating scene despite my age. I'm 31, by the way. I got into my first ever relationship with my girlfriend this January. Needless to say, I have a lot of things to work on and learn since this is my first. This one pertaining to the concept of giving someone flowers. I've had no issues with gift giving, even though it's not my primary love language. It's a type of gift that I have issues with. Whenever I do give a gift, I make sure that it's tangible, practical, and lasts forever, like a necklace or a watch or a stuffed toy that she likes. I'm not dense, or maybe that I or maybe I am, but my partner has been hinting to me that I should give her flowers ever since the six months mark that we've been seeing each other. I haven't given them to her once. Okay. I feel like they're expensive and they immediately lose their value once they wither. Mm. I just as to why flowers are such an important thanks in advance. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh. First of all, <laughs> it's very commendable that <laughs> you are new to dating and you're dating someone at 31 years old. Yo, that was the first thing that caught me. That caught me. Because, um, I mean, at 31 years old, your biggest issue is some, getting somebody to buy flour. Like, I feel like most 30-year-olds 30, 30 are sitting around still trying to figure out how to eat box. Like, I just, like, you know what, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, okay. Go ahead, girl. It's your problems. We listening to you. <laughs> okay. So, my thing is, when you, if, if your partner is hinting about something that they want, that is their love language, which is receiving gifts. And I don't see anything wrong with it. You may think that it is unimportant, but to her, it means the world to her. Um, ladies do like flowers, unexpectedly too. We would love for a man to just come home randomly and give us some flowers, whatever. Um, I think that you should just go ahead and get them. Yeah. I matter of fact, I, I you said something about they're expensive. Um, sir, let me tell you something. <laughs> you can go in any giant <laughs> grocery store. You can go into any Safeway. Go into the flower department and get like six roses for like nine, ten dollars. I don't think that that's that expensive. We spend that on bull crap every day. Ten dollars. So if that's something that'll make her smile, do it to, just to see her smile. And if all you know, else fails, munch box. Tell <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> she will love you for that too. You said munch box. I let it. I don't let it. So that's my advice. All right, I got one for her you. love language so she can understand and too. give your love language properly as well. All right. You said you got one too, Ticker Man? Yep, I got one. Oh, hell. Good grief. All right. One of y'all go ahead with y'all. All right. Uh, you want to go first or me, Ticker Man? No, you go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Dear Lyric, <clears throat> I wanted to run this post, y'all, on your show to see how you feel. I'm a 29-year-old black man from Texas living on, in Orlando. I've been seeing this fine-ass Latina chick for almost a year now. Sex life is good, vibe is good, just one thing. One night, we were both high and drunk seeing when... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, both high and drunk sexing while we were in the heat of the moment, she started using the N-word. The first night it happened, I just let it pass because we were both fucked up. Well, as the weeks have passed, it's become a regular thing for her to, for her to call me a nigga, uh, for her uh, or for her to refer to my part as a big black dick, and just the uh, and the whole side of me wants to let it slide because she's Latina. But her mom, uh, I'm sorry, I'm reading y'all's uh, messages. But her mom's side is white, and something about it makes me want to second. Uh, makes me want a second opinion. Am I tripping? Sign D. <laughs> <laughs> black D. <laughs> Big black D. 
You said what? Okay, so this is the thing. Everybody is entitled to their boundaries. If it makes you uncomfortable, say something. Um, yes, she's Latina. Yes, you know as well as I know. Scientifically, everyone came from leprechauns. So guess what? Did you say leprechauns? I said black. No, Africa. No, the motherland. Okay. The and you and you can fact check that. Oh yeah. Um, the <laughs> it's funny, Eugene. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but if it makes you uncomfortable, say something. Don't just let it slide and just let it slide and just let it slide. Because what's going to happen is you're going to start to resent her, and that's going to ruin your relationship with her. So mm-hmm. get it out of the way. Be like, hey, babe. Um, I really would like it if you do not call me that because it makes me uncomfortable. And just leave it at that. You don't really have to go oh. into details of why. You know what I'm word, saying? The N word or, 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 or the BBD? Both. I I'm mean, talking about the N word. <clears throat> well, I mean, both are issues because I, you know, don't nobody like like it when people fetishize black people either. So that's always an issue. But I mean, I just, I don't understand the obsession with other races once they get sexually intimate or just. I don't understand the allure or just the whole thing of this word that you're really not supposed to say that you say at your cousin's house when no black people are around or where y'all can't get caught anyways. Like you say it anyways, but then everybody just wants to publicly say it. It's like, ooh, this is an instance where I can say nigga or it'll be like you at a concert. And oh, well, I was just singing along to my favorite artist. And is it, uh, can I just appreciate the, oh, bitch. You said love what? Exactly. If it's not honey, babe, sweetie, love, then tell her you don't like it. Period. Yeah. There you go. You just got to be honest. Yeah, Everybody is entitled to like, how they stop feel. Saying that to me. I don't like that baby. Stop calling Some me people that like baby. to be called a a, a, na- a nasty, freaky bitch while they're yep. you know intimate. Mm. Some people don't like that. You just have to be vocal and say what you like and what your preference is when you're talking to your mate. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll be damned if I'm going to have some 12 years of slave sex. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Go ahead. Y'all almost done my drink out. <sighs> That's my advice for that. All right. I got one. This is okay. from, from Gary from Chattanooga. Oh, oh hey. my God. Gary from Chattanooga. That sound like it's about to be a mess. He said... Dear Lyric. Can y'all can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Chattanooga. Dear Lyric. My wife and I have been married for five years with two children. Mm-hmm. I've been putting my hands on her in such a bad way that she's saying we are no longer a family and she wants a divorce. I need my wife and children back. It hurts me to stay away. I'm currently going to church and Sunday school and Bible study. I've been praying many hours these past few weeks. And it's helping me. I would do anything and everything I can to get my family back because I don't want to lose them. What can I do to get them back? Baby, there's nothing you can to get them back. <laughs> there's nothing you can do to get them back. You lost them. Listen, you, lost them. you have no business putting your hands on nobody on this guy's brain. Unless she was doing you some harm and, and it was trying to end your life. So you should have kept your hands and feet. Your your motherfucking self. Wow. <laughs> and that's just that on that. She's doing what's best for her and them kids, and I commend her for that because a lot of people stay in these toxic relationships. And, and I just seen something on Instagram where this where this boy killed his girlfriend. Brutalized oh, the, 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 the Yeah. And the mama and, came in and, and, and found him. Your wife said, <laughs> won't be me. <laughs> And she bounced with them kids to say D. <laughs> As she should. Mm. As she should. So mm. therefore, that, you need to make sure that you get your your right your life right. You on the right track going to church. And I hope you're not just going there just to, you know what I'm saying, saying that you're going. I hope you're learning something. Mm. And maybe the next relationship you get, you know what to do and what not to do. Mm. But baby, let me tell you something. Life is gone. <laughs> Never get her back. <laughs> Once that mind is gone, once you lose the mind for a woman and she's no longer interested in you, 
the rest follows. She took the kids, the station wagon, and the trailer, nigga. Bye. Not the trailer. Not the trailer. Not the trailer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye, Gary. <laughs> She'll be back February 30th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's just that on that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> all right. So my, my final one is, ooh, wow. It's very lengthy, so I'm going to try to get through as much as I can. This one reads, my fiance just destroyed my trust, and we just got a house together. Last week, my fiance told me that his old friend, Crystal, reached out to him to see how he was doing. It instantly made me feel anxious, but I'm definitely an overthinker, so I didn't mention it to him. Yesterday, I was in our room, and I overheard him in the kitchen talking to someone on the phone. He's saying some basic catching up things, and it's pretty obvious that it's Crystal on the phone. So I walked past him to go outside and clean something up for him. He's like, for that. (laughs) She went outside to vacuum the lawn. And then I came back in, and he's saying bye to her. As I'm coming inside, I fully expected him to say, oh, that was Crystal that just called. Instead, he looks dead at my face, smiles, and says, that was Benji on the phone. He's fighting with his wife. I just stood there. It was obvious he just lied to my face. For the first time ever, I asked to see his call history. And he shows me. The call was from a random number. So I asked, why isn't Benji's number saved in your phone? He says, it's Benji's new number. I said, okay. Well, show me your recent text with Benji. He says the recent texts are from Benji's old phone. Then I say, show me your text between you and Crystal there. When I say that, he instantly got quiet and shuts down. The numbers match. I asked him to show me their text messages and he hesitates, but hands me, hands me the phone. The whole text thread is her teasing him and asking him to come hang out and asking him why he's avoiding it. They keep texting. He mentions that he's engaged and she thinks it's hilarious. I'm freaking out that he lied to me and I start crying and he assures me that she's just a close friend and says he doesn't know why he lied, but it was on an impulse and he says he's sorry. I'm extremely hurt and angry. Today I looked her up on Facebook and she's not even his friend. She's his ex. Him and I are about to move into this house together. Is there something that can be worked through or am I better off leaving? Yeah, let's see. Mm. That was a lot. <laughs> Girl, mm. Let me tell you. My, uh, marriage is a big commitment. Buying a house with someone is a big commitment too. It sounds to me like somebody ain't ready. Kofi. Because for him to impulsively lie like that for no reason at all it seems like he is being mm, a little shady, like he wants to hide it, and maybe the intention was not, um, and he just got nervous, but I think maybe you should hold off on this whole house thing. I don't know if you can do that. Okay. It might be too late. I hope it's not too late for you, girl, but if it is, ooh, I feel sorry, because you would hate to be to wait till you're like years down the line and you find out that him and Crystal been bumping uglies. Oh no. <laughs> while you're out doing whatever. Not the ugliest of bumps. Yeah, well, not the ugliest of bumps. Uh, well, obviously she didn't know who Crystal was. That's the first thing. She didn't know who Crystal was. So he mm-hmm. probably never mentioned anything about his past girls or whatever since she found out that that was his ex. By, hold on, but how did she find out that was his ex? He, she, she, because he told he said he told her that an old friend named Crystal reached out to him to see how he was doing. Right. She found out that it was his ex by looking her up on Facebook. My thing is, oh, so she must have seen like pictures of her together. Or something. He could have just said, "Hey, this is my ex girlfriend." Just be honest. Even though, and, 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 and you know what? Even though he, he he did, well, he did tell her. I mean, well, his ex or whatever. He did say he's engaged because she kept mm-hmm. asking him why is he avoiding her. Mm-hmm. My thing, that, he, yeah, he said he was engaged. So that yeah. meant she kept call. She must have kept reaching out to him and calling. But mm-hmm. then he messed up with the phone call. That's 
yeah. Up, he, sure, he sure did. He sure did. Because if and you were old, that is, open and honest and telling, so, and telling, and, you know what I'm saying, that yeah. she reached out, you should have been, you should have continued down that path of being open yeah. and honest. Because now, because now you cause some distrust in your relationship. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry, girl. Yep. Because uh, absolutely not. <laughs> so yeah, I would recommend y'all go to some sort of marriage counseling before you jump the broom. Um, that's what I recommend. Um, it might even be something that you hashed out. He might have just got nervous. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you to leave him because I mean, if <laughs> this is the only thing that has happened, and I don't even know how long you all have been together. I don't know what y'all been through together. So this is the this is the only thing it might be something that you can hash out but definitely conversations need to be had because yeah because my you thing can't is, be, why you can't, if you, you can't avoid her, her yeah because if you avoid her text messages uh, while all of a sudden you call and start talking to her mm-hmm. and you already no, he know, wasn't you already know what he wasn't has. avoiding her text messages they were texting but she but oh, I guess okay. the ex wanted them to hang out and, and, and he was like, avoiding nah. that yeah that's what he messed up at he should have just, um, mm-hmm. he should have just put, um, his, his buddy's name under that number. Because <laughs> all she said was, let me see the number. Let me see oh, the name. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See, ain't free the thread. She's see, tell her, tell y'all we are giving cheating advice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you just got yourself caught up. <laughs> what? Well, check that number twice, girl. Montgomery Roar been closed for you. You dumb. You dumb. I'm sorry, dumb. Woolworth, what? <laughs> and, and, and that's the thing. There's nothing wrong with having platonic, like, uh, opposite sex um, relationships. You know what I'm saying? Friendships or whatever. But, no, once but you, you know, start, and even if he would have told her, you know, well, okay, stuff like that, you, you, had a problem you make your, you make your uh, partner look at you different. And it, and it makes people start being a little insecure, which brings on doubt in the relationship, which brings on jealousy, which brings on all that other stuff. Like, it, it it's a build-up and then you have this toxic relationship. But you know what? Even, even, even if he would have told her that that was his ex, mm-hmm. you know, you know, there was, she probably still had a problem with it. Like, what the, what the, why you and your ex texting each other? I mean, what's going on? She would have been suspicious anyway. She would have been suspicious anyway. But at least she, she would have had the know. information and was given the chance yeah. um, to either deal with it or not. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. You just made it through so, my line. There's that. Sure, the same the number under your buddy's so, name. girl, do what's best for you at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And there you go. And that's all I got to say about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Don't forget to send me your questions at my Gmail at lyricbravado at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Oh, let me. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so do we really want? Okay, do y'all want to hear about the 11 year old black girl, or do we want to talk about this upside down roller coaster and how that? We can became. talk about both. All right. Upside down so, roller coaster. Yeah. Up next, we'll be telling you about that and be right after this. Keep it locked. Two months ago, at my friend Marsha's 31st birthday dinner, and I immediately noticed Josh. <laughs> yeah, I, I can be a little shy sometimes, um, <laughs> but I said to myself, "You better go up and introduce yourself, because if you don't, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life." Um, and we started talking, and uh, well, here we are. Now we're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were thrilled when I told them I was finally fucking Josh. He had been eating my pussy for so long, I began to wonder if he was ever going to actually take out his dick and stuff my hole. Deborah's not my typical fuck, um, and my friends were a little bit skeptical, uh, but they're coming around. They're starting to see that, um, you know, this is the woman that I want to empty my balls in for the rest of my life. I actually still remember exactly where we were when we first fucked. It was right over there. Josh was behind me, and... My face was pressed up against the glass the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was giving her this tremendous pounding, you know, just really deep in there, and that's when I realized at that moment that fuck like this comes around only once, so 
I better not blow it. <laughs> Do you remember what you said to me that night? Of course. <laughs> Fill me with your cock. Fuck my mouth, daddy. God damn it. Go deeper. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Keep fucking your little pump station. Come, Come on, on my, my back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I spent so much time looking for a woman that I could plow so hard that she'd walk funny for two days straight, and I'm just really glad that I never gave up. No one should. I mean, the fucking you're waiting for is out there. It was for me. <laughs> Look at you. You sitting on your mama couch, smoking weed, popping out babies, and eating up all your mama food. You ain't shit. Your lazy ass ain't doing shit. Why don't you do something with your life? Get your stupid ass up off the couch. Go to the Neverest Institute. At Neverest, you get the hands on training that you need to stop being a motherfucking bum that you are. Now, being that you are indeed a lazy bum on the couch, I know your ass is full of excuses. What about my thug life? What about my pimp? What about my pregnancy? Don't nobody want to hear that shit? You can be a thug at Neverest. All right. Now, who got the motherfucking answer? <laughs> I do. Got that loud. Yo, yo, yo. I got that loud. You can turn tricks at Neverwitz. You can have your baby right there in the classroom. Just clean up after yourself. <sighs> it ain't my baby. It ain't my baby. Yo, yo, yo. I got that loud. The teachers at Neverwitz know that your lazy ass don't want to be there. Neither do they. You skim through shit so fast, it'll be a miracle if you pass your exams, but that's beside the point. At least your ass can say you in school. Call up there now. Don't you want to be fly? Don't you want to be balling? Don't you want to be in this big ass boat? Well, motherfucker, so do I. And the sooner you skim this contract, the sooner I can do shit like that, bitch. Call now. You still sitting there, bitch? I said call now. Parody commercial created by Bricklin Page. Follow her on Twitter at BrickyBrick1 and subscribe to the Orangey and Purple YouTube videos on our YouTube channel, BrickyBrick1. Alright, so as we're getting into this, okay, so I guess I'll start with this because it's kind of, it's really bad news. So did y'all hear about the 11 year old black girl that was attacked with acid during an argument at a playground in Detroit what? last I Sunday? Did. I did. I did. I heard about that. You said you did or you did not? No, I haven't. I haven't heard about that. I did. I saw that on Instagram. Uh, so, um, according to this report, she was on a playground when her cousin and another 12-year-old girl got into an argument. The mother of the 12-year-old is accused of giving, uh, giving her a bottle of acid that she then used to throw on the girls. Um, <clears throat> she wasn't involved in the confrontation, but... Um, she said Summers was not involved in the confrontation, but suffered uh, severe burns on her back, legs, and arms. Uh, she tore off her shirt and basically just tried, like, like the acid was going through her clothing. She was tearing off her clothes. It was just crazy. What fuck nugget does this crazy shit? I'm just throwing. You know what I read? What? The girl's mama gave it to her. That's what I just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like what acid? Yes, this is what I we're doing. That is the most evil list shit I have ever heard. Uh, that is a child. Yes, if you have a problem with something, you go to the other child's parents Fair. and you handle it that way. Right, but oh, you finna go. You finna get football numbers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you finna get football numbers because guess what? You could you could have killed that child. Yep. And guess what would have happened if it was my child, <laughs> honey? Mm. Let mm. me tell you. <laughs> Let me say last because mm. mm. I'm telling you, wouldn't be no police called. That's all I'm gonna say because I'm gonna handle that shit. My I know way. that's right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Period. So uh 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 uh. And you know uh -uh. what? Uh -uh. That's football numbers. Ugh, I'm just gonna leave her alone. Football numbers. That's crazy. All right. That is crazy. Something. Uh. People, something still. All right. So here's one that's ratchet, but I don't know. It's not as heinous, but it's still bad. All right. So 
I look back to all the shit that I used to do as a kid, like roller coasters and rides and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And I, I look at it now and I'm like, I was fucking nuts. Like, <laughs> what? We, we were, oh my God, we were awful kids to put our parents through all this and go, oh my God. So this roller coaster was stuck upside down for hours after a mechanical oh, hell failure. No. Hell no. <laughs> no. This happened in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. So, so they were stuck. Yeah, so Summoner Amusement uh, turned into a serious nightmare on Sunday after a roller coaster malfunctioned in midair, trapping eight passengers upside down for several hours. And this is on, so this is on one of those little Final Destination. Final Destination. Exactly. <laughs> this was on one of those little loops though. So like, you know, you go over yeah, the loop and then, yeah, about, yeah, so they were just stuck. They try to rock it? Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck no. no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's already <laughs> malfunctioned. Who's to say them harnesses won't give out? And then you ask yeah, us right. sitting there dangling. Yes, I would have been rocking Anything back and possible. forth. I'm like, come on, y'all, rock back and forth. I'm not rocking nothing. You better rock my ass back. I'll motherfucking throw a rock at your head for rocking me. <laughs> you out your goddamn mind. Fuck that. Dude, I'm like, y'all better come on and rock this joint. Yeah, okay. Continue moving. Now we be throwing mm-hmm. rocks at your head. At least, look, at least you either go backwards or you go forward. But you will right. you, end up back down. Right, right, right. But I just think about all the shit that, like, think about how fast shit is now. Like, you go, and just even at these attractions, even these haunted houses that we go to, they're up. It's like a completely empty parking lot one day, and then, like, a day's time, they got this whole haunted house constructed, and everybody's ready, and, like, what? And we would go to that shit, like, for these amusement parks and these fairs where these rides just... Oh, they throw you all over the place. They're very poorly kept. They're always traveling. No. Mm -mm. I just can't do it. Oh, all right. So, Tigger Man has got tea, I'm sure, because it's been a week and y'all don't know how to behave. You better have some tea. Do it. I don't know. You better have some tea. We'll see. I guess we'll find out after this. (laughs) Yeah, we'll see. Well, we met about two months ago at my friend Marsha's 31st birthday dinner, and I immediately noticed Josh. (laughs) Yeah, I I can be a little shy sometimes, um, but I said to myself, you better go up and introduce yourself, because if you don't, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Um, And we started talking, and uh, well, here we are. Now we're fucking. (laughs) My parents were thrilled when I told them I was finally fucking Josh. He had been eating my pussy for so long, I began to wonder if he was ever going to actually take out his dick and stuff my hole. Deborah's not my typical fuck, um, and my friends were a little bit skeptical, uh, but they're coming around. They're starting to see that, um, you know, this is the woman that I want to empty my balls in for the rest of my life. I actually still remember exactly where we were when we first fucked. It was right over there. Josh was behind me, and my face was pressed up against the glass the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I was giving her this tremendous pounding, you know, just really deep in there, and that's when I realized at that moment that a fuck like this comes around only once, so I better not blow it. (laughs) Do you remember what you said to me that night? Of course. (laughs) Fill me with your cock. Fuck my mouth, Daddy. God damn it. Go deeper. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Keep fucking your little pump station. Come, Come on, on my back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I spent so much time looking for a woman that I could plow so hard that she'd walk funny for two days straight, and I'm just really glad that I never gave up. Well, no one should. I mean, the fucking you're waiting for is out there. For me. <laughs> Exciting things are happening at Burger King. All right, uh, great meeting, guys. Yeah, hey, let's go to Burger King and get one of those new crispy chicken wraps. What's in the new crispy chicken wrap? What's in the new crispy? What's in the new crispy chicken wrap? Mary. Crispy chicken, fresh lettuce with some chitlins and grits wrapped up in a tasty. Cornbread, tortilla, drenched in hot 
Chicken snack wraps. Bring your homie. They're off the hook. So back. And sip on this key. Hey, 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 this is your boy Tigger Man with the T. Now, I know when you all hear the word T, oh, okay, when you hear the word T, you think of gossip, celebrity gossip. It's all about celebrity gossip. But my tea consists of worldwide news and celebrity gossip. Okay. Local gossip. Local news. Okay. And also, what goes on in your bed, bro. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's tea bagging going on in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Y'all, I know y'all heard it's been a lot of um, tea bag. A lot of concerts that's been going on, and people in the odd the, the fans throwing throwing stuff up at the um at the, stuff, the celebrities that they're performing on the stage. Mm-hmm. I know y'all heard about that. Well, Lil Nas has been one of the latest ones who been hit with something that's been talking about one of the audience. What they hit him with? So, <laughs> no. so Lil Nas, he was um performing at a European level. Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. Yeah, Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza, nigga. Lollapalooza. Yeah, yeah. Lollapalooza. And listen, right in the middle of one of his songs, a loose item um, sailed in the air and landed at his feet. Hold on, speak up, because the mic ain't picking you up, but go ahead. Are you serious? Okay, I'm going to say it again. So Lil Nas X was performing at one of his concerts Mm -hmm. in Europe. And right in the middle of one of his songs, a loose item sailed into the air and landed right at his feet. So he stopped the show and he bent down to see what it was. (laughs) Turns out it was a sex toy. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) What kind? So then he said on the mic, who threw they pussy on stage? So of course, you know, it was one of them, one of them little sex toys shaped like a pussy. Somebody threw it. Oh, they threw a pocket junk. Yes, they threw oh, a pocket junk. Oh, go ahead. They couldn't even throw. They couldn't even throw the anatomically correct body part at the gay man. That y'all just like- throwing. Y'all throwing <laughs> pussy up there. Ain't nobody have enough sense to throw a booty hole up there or something. Right. Who threw this pussy at me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. that up, that was Y'all gotta be hateful even when being hateful. That's like hateful on top of hateful. That's like not only am I gonna disrespect you as a gay man, but then I'm gonna throw some anatomically incorrect shit. Oh bitch. Okay. Y'all just y'all so disrespectful. Hold on, cause they've been throwing a lot of shit. Didn't that one bitch get plucked in the head with a phone? Yeah, uh, B- her name is, um, her name was, um, she did. Yeah. Oh, um, BB Rexa. Right, and then the Rexa. other artists, they would, they oh, somebody yeah, threw their mama Rexa. on stage or something in her no, arm. Um, sexy Red. Sexy Red. Who said? Oh yeah, the, she, her, yeah, the one who said that time had pussy hair, booty hole brown. She got mad and left the stage. Yeah, somebody threw a whole bunch of stuff at her ass. Yeah, yeah. but what? Who? Who? Who got their mom? Like, who threw their mama on the stage that was in an urn? Threw their mama on the stage. Yeah, it was like an urn. Somebody threw the uh, the ashes of oh, like their oh, dead relative. I don't remember. Huh? I can't remember who that was. I heard about that though. Yeah, I'm just like, who was chucking Granny's ashes on the damn? Okay. And then, oh, I just feel like this. I gener- it was Rihanna though. Rihanna. I don't feel like it was her. Nah, ain't nobody throwing none at her on stage. Ain't nobody doing it to her on stage. Not throwing it at her, but throwing it to her. It was somebody. I remember that though. And it wasn't the grandma, it was somebody's mother. Mm. I just mm-hmm. feel like this generation, and you throw an urn on the damn stage, they just sit there and bust it down. I'm talking about, yeah, I busted it open like whack a mole and shit. I don't know. Anyways, go ahead. Mm. But, anyway, speaking <clears> of <throat> pussies. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Suki, your girl Sukiana going like this trending on social media? Sukiana from where? Who, yes. who, who is Sukiana? Sukiana with the good coochie. 
Um, I, that's not. I don't think we've met on that level. Like, who is this? You don't know who Sukiyana is? I don't know who that oh, is. She's a rapper slash reality. I don't know who that uh, is. Star mm-hmm. slash. Um, I don't know her. Uh, um, um, OnlyFans star slash. No. Pornhub star slash. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she all that. But anyway, she's she's trending on social media now. She in front of Buckingham Palace. People walking by, she filming, going live, talking about some. Yeah, she want her pussy stretch. She want a pussy stretch and eat a nigga ass. Hold on, <laughs> wait. All out in public, everybody looking at her. She wants the. She wants her pussy stretch and a nigga they to eat her, her ass. Eat, no, she, no, wanna eat a nigga she ass. wants to eat. Oh, a nigga Lord. Ass. and she was very obnoxious about it. Yeah, she has My a song is, out. She has a song out. She currently has a song out. I thing. get that you have a song out. I get that. I understand that. But there is a time and there is a place for everything. Yep. I say that all the time. And you do not have to act like that in public. Okay. Exactly. I, I, okay. I just looked her up. She looked like the type of woman that would stretch a nigga <laughs> booty hole open. <laughs> Like just stretch, just stretch their booty so open that they get yeah. that little paper cut in their booty or something, you know. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else? She was just trending uh, last week for um, one of her videos leaked from um, OnlyFans, where um, she was basically peeing and trying oh, to say that yes, she was worth yes, yes. And everybody yeah. was going on her talking about that as well. You she said like water, she was like, peeing. She liked water sports. And Hold on, it she, was yellow. Uh, oh, God. coochie all in the cam. Coochie all in the cam, man. She, yeah, oh, it was God. yellow. She don't care. Just, you need to she drink more care. water. She do not and care. she tried to pass. She so water. she tried to pass yellow fluid. Let me get this right. <laughs> Sis yeah. tried to push yellow fluid off as. Female ejaculation. Yes. Okay. Yes. So who was going to yes. buy that? And if they bought it, who was then going to ask? You should probably go to the doctor or suggest it at least. Because why you got That's brown or, or, or why you got not brown, but why you got yellow fluids coming up out there? But you know when you when you when you when you yeah when you're not drinking a lot of water, yo 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 pee turns yellow. Mm-hmm. It gets dark yellow too. You know you're what? Not drinking water. Is that a that's myth? What is that a, no? It's I, not. It's no, not, no it's I feel not. like I feel like no, that's one not. of the urban legends that I forgot to talk about that's earlier. It's not an urban legend. It's not. It's not an urban legend. So, You're if, talking to so whatever you eat, in the house, no, no, no. I'm talking about the urban legend of whatever you eat comes out in your genitals. So if that you, is absolutely true. So if you go to a Red Lobster, you mean to tell me your cooter gonna be smelling like fish heads? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Absolutely. I'm not saying it's smell like fish heads, but what you eat does. Um, have an effect on your pH, okay. your taste, mm-hmm. and your smell. Oh, do we need to do a health segment? I feel like yeah, we, we do, do for a lot health. of people. Do we, need, do we need to do a health segment? Well, I mean, yes. Should I find myself in pussy situations? You know what? I will consult <laughs> the both of you. <laughs> okay. Here we go with this. What else you got, Tigger? <laughs> Here we go with this. Okay, next up. I, I mean, Filster needs to get a lot. No, uh, the rapper Future. He needs to get a life. Who? And leave. I don't know Filter, that one either. The rapper Future. I don't know he that one either. He needs to get a life and leave Russell Williams, Wilson alone. Sierra's husband, the football player, Russell Wilson. Oh. He just recently um, did a song, and he paid for Russell in his song. Mm. That man ain't bothering him at all. Like he, he fucking love. And this, in a part of his song, he goes big dog status. Bill Hopper, I bought in his mall for my brothers. Goyard bag, tote the cutter. I got it out. The, I got it out the field. Fuck Russell. Part of future. That was part of his lyrics. Is this his and way you know, of trying to get Sierra? Like, what? What's happening? I, I, I don't know. I don't. Know. First of all, she don't want that man. <laughs> she don't want him. She happily married. She happily married. I, I just, she I don't understand. Got kids. She happily married. Leave him alone. He ain't doing nothing. He's that. coming across as a bitter baby father. He is. He's better. He's coming he better. across as a creep. Why? He's coming across as a creep. He's just like giving me creep vibes. Why are you so concerned with someone exactly. that is Leave him alone. helping yeah. raise 
your child. Your child exactly. that you not raising. Oops. Exactly. And he got about like 20 kids. Yikes. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. I, just, I don't understand that. <sighs> mm-hmm. All right. What so else then, you got? <sighs> next I got, um, so we all know Jamie, Jamie Foxx. He's out of the hospital now. Yeah, and, Jamie. And it says that he's been doing very well. He's doing very well. <laughs> that, I wasn't being, that was genuine. I was being but, sincere. What you say? <laughs> I say, yay, that Jamie. Ain't him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I did. It's, but it's anyway, good. He's doing, he's doing well. He, uh, he was spotted um, playing top golf with um, some friends and family members. And they said, um, they said he's doing like very well. He's not dragging, limping, or anything. They say he was playing top golf better than everybody else. Mm. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. What that mean? Mm. Huh? What that mean? What? I just called. Y'all, y'all trying to come for Jamie. That's my dog. I, I mean, I love, I love Jamie too. It, it was him. <laughs> Why you called the dog? So, do y'all believe all these conspiracy theories now? <laughs> so now y'all saying it's a conspiracy theory. Uh. <laughs> Y'all are wrong. <laughs> Y'all are wrong. No. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are wrong. Y'all are wrong. <laughs> I want to hear him sing mm. first before I say anything else. Mm. Well, if, he, if he don't sound the way he used to, then it's a problem. It's a rap. It's a rap. <laughs> it's a rap. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyway, I'm happy to hear that he's doing all right now. I need him to get back to the movies now. Yeah, okay. Well, you know he's uh, unpredictable, okay. so <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So, um, y'all know the there was a um the broccoli festival festival was I believe last yeah, was last weekend. Yeah. And um, Kiki Palmer was there. She performed there. Ooh. And in one of her songs, she performed. She crocheted at a baby daddy. Oh. <laughs> Did she? Basically, she threw shade at a baby dad. Because remember, he made that whole comment when he saw that um, the video that was on social media of her. When she was with Usher, baby. Yeah, he made that comment um, about you, you being a mother or something like that, and you dressing like the, whatever he said. But then he backtracked. But after he got criticized by everybody, mm-hmm. he uh, made a statement just saying that he um, basically... Unless his statement was, I'm an insecure fuck nigga. uh, No, he just basically was saying that he hold him and her to a higher standard. And so, he he wouldn't want her to be dressing like that in public. Okay. But meanwhile, he's been also on social media too. Taking pictures in his boxes and all this other stuff. Can I just say something? Because I'm I'm alive. Let me just say something real quick. Oh, 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 let me get finished. Let me get finished. All right, let me get finished. So basically, <laughs> um, what the hell is? Oh, she performed one of her songs, and then she says something about I don't need a nigga. She just need a bag. Yes, I don't need a nigga. I just need a bag. Basically, that's what mm. she said. So he hasn't responded to it yet. I don't know what's going on with that, but. We'll find out soon, sooner or later. Oh. We'll find out sooner or later. But go ahead, what was you about to say? Okay, so first of all, I don't like the whole once you become a mom, you can't be sexy anymore. Uh, Being sexy is what created that child. Mm. <laughs> and I don't want to, just because I don't walk, I don't want to walk around in t-shirt and jeans and sweatpants and a tank top and not you know what I'm saying that doesn't mean that I should have to do that nobody should have to do that <clears throat> and remember when I said there's a time and there's a place for everything right he was appropriately dressed for the occasion and the event she was going to yeah. she didn't show up to mass she didn't go to no vacation bible school she didn't come to the nobody's graduation mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying she didn't come to her baby's baptism <laughs> or anything like that with that dress on she, she was at a, a concert, concert with a friend enjoying did, her did you see what she had on before she left 
Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. Stop. Right. Stop. But anyway, she said, little booties matter. My son gave me ass. I'm my own boss and I got my own cash. I don't need a nigga. Only thing I need is a bag. I feel like she that chants that in front of her mirror every night. <laughs> and do that. And do that. It's like an affirmation or some shit. Like what? It does sound like an affirmation. The whole matter. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, she said what she said to him, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Don't let social media fuck your relationship up. Exactly. Because exactly. <laughs> guess what? Them same one, them same people with the opinions and said, girl, leave him. Just going home to their baby daddies, their husbands, their girlfriends, their wives, and, and laughing at you on social media. Girl, don't do it. Just have that baby pipe down a little bit. <clears throat> Because we definitely have to laugh. Don't become a statistic if you don't need to. (laughs) Is that it, Chicken Man? So now, so now, the mother of Matthew No's son is speaking out about the non existent relationship that her son has. With his half sister Beyonce. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> Nick's amazing Nick, who was 13 years old, is a result of the basic Everybody knows the affair that um, Beyonce's father had this, this lady. Mm-hmm. So, Which caused she, Tina to leave, so, as she should. <laughs> 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 child let's talk about it yes so <laughs> so basically <laughs> i feel like that side of the family got ashy ankles <laughs> you know what <laughs> so basically she says that she's uh right now she, she says she feels bad for her son um because beyond or beyonce n- n- none of the other none of the other um siblings are in contact with them. They don't see them. They don't speak to them. They don't get any kind of money from them. Nothing. And she said, her son, she's basically just saying her son saying, why don't Beyonce love her? Child, first of all, Beyonce didn't say lay down and make Let's start there. Matthew was her father. Matthew is your daddy. You need to be worried about why your daddy ain't coming around and why he ain't paying what he need to be paying. Mm-hmm. And, and I hate to say this, no, but I don't. feel like it's true. And it might not be. <laughs> I don't really hate to say this. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm not torn up about this. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Just um, so you know, yeah. I feel like sometimes women chase a man because of status mm-hmm. and they'll have a baby on purpose because they think that they'll gain something. Mm-hmm. That lady had that baby by Matthew Knowles. To what? try to get some Beyonce tickets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, mm-hmm. I'm just keeping it real. You thought because no. you had a baby by no. Beyonce's daddy that somehow or another that was just gonna magically link you to Beyonce, child? Bye. Yeah, <laughs> Beyonce ain't you know, worried about they, 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 they gotta get it something. Or that baby. Exactly. They got it. And now baby. look at you. You then came up with this whole scheme, and now look at you. You're in the wick. <laughs> you, you, you look at you. You're in the wick line. You're standing in the wick line. Your baby then ran out of Capri Sun, and they screaming to the top of their lungs, and you just sitting there looking stupid. So there. Look, anyway. If, if you wanna see, if you wanna see Beyonce so bad, you better buy him a ticket off a ticket master, and, and so he can see her. You like better. See, you better. Uh, you better set that nigga on your shoulders and. Lift up, bitch. I, 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 I hope he can see over that I fence. Cannot. I cannot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Be like, yo, we felt like we were right there. Oh, did you, girl? I cannot. <laughs> she ain't happening mm-hmm. at all. I, I cannot. Be like, oh, did you, girl? For real? You felt like you were right there, didn't you? Yeah, no, family. That girl cried for her mother. And yeah. she is not happening at all. Oh. Oh, next, next I have up is news now. This last news I have. Uh-oh. All right, is this I the last one? To everybody out there, 
or you can go to another country, please do research on their laws. Mm. Please do research on their laws. There's a girl from um, Houston. Her name is Tara Young. She is stuck over in Dubai now. She got arrested. <laughs> Wait, did <laughs> you fall out? Passport <laughs> because she was yelling in public. <laughs> was yelling in public. <laughs> what was she yelling about? So basically, what happened was she um she had she had a rental car while she was out there, mm-hmm. and I guess she um. When she returned it and she left, and I guess she came back because she left some items in the car that she went back. Mm-hmm. And I guess the people at the rental place didn't want to give it to her or whatever. And so they started yelling at her. So she started yelling back at them. And because she was yelling, <laughs> she got arrested. So wait, so over in their country, you're not allowed to yell at all? Women. Women. Are not- Women are not allowed to get. Really? I never. Women are not allowed to get. Right. Because I mean, you mean, about me. you mean to tell me so you can get like federally locked up if yes. you you over there somebody be like free chicken at Popeyes and you just like oh yep. like and you could get arrested? Yeah. Yep. And she's twenty nine years old. <laughs> she's twenty nine years old and. She, the only way that she could um, receive her items back is if she was um, she was to pay them some money. It was undisclosed. There's an undisclosed amount of money that she has to pay in order to get her items back. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now she can't leave out of the country. She can't. She's stuck. And they probably told her something wild, like $500. Yeah. She probably said, $500? What the fuck are you going to do? I told you. Free chicken from Popeye's. Arrest her. Like, what? <laughs> Off with her head. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, yes. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying? She probably got baited into that because, come on now, if some, that happens a lot. People leave their stuff in cabs and papers yeah, and exactly. lifts and stuff. Like, give that. She could have really gave her her stuff back. But he probably was trying to scam. Because they be doing a lot of that shit. They're, they're he probably tried to scam and say, oh, okay, you can have your stuff back, but you're going to have to pay me. He probably was trying to do it on the, on the slide, and she was not having it. Mm. Yep. All right. I can never do it. So is that yep. it, Ticket so, Man? Is that for, for the tea? That'll be it for the tea for this time. All right. See y'all next week. All right, so up next, I guess we're going to follow up on a story that we talked about a little bit last show so yeah we gotta give y'all the update and see how things fell you know how things went with the Anacostia River mm, yep oh, we'll be right back when these biscuits touch my nigga lips I rub my hips, I do a dip I back it up like the real ass bitch I do the tip to quit When I eat these bills, berry butter biscuits hey, 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 hey. Parody commercial created by Bricklin Page Follow her on Twitter at Bricky Brick One And subscribe to the OG and Purple YouTube videos on our YouTube channel Bricky Brick One Billy needs your help He needs your help It only takes... Five cents equals one grain of rice. Help Billy, he don't have anything to eat. He's digging in trash cans, eating flowers. What the fuck y'all doing at home? Fuck to feed these children. Y'all go out and spend some fucking money on some weed and shit. Feed these damn children. Ain't nobody got time for this shit. Eating all the trash cans and shit. Feed this boy, please. I'm so stranger. WRTR reminds you to feed the children. Just give them some food. Just a little. These kids ain't shit. Fuck these kids. (laughs) Wait, what about a dimple?
Right before I, I hit. Said, it looks like I got a dimple. Oh. And, oh, okay. Because I, I, I didn't have the camera up, so you're like, is that a dimple? And then I'm like, wait, we're talking like butt dimple? Okay, anyways. <laughs> so. Uh, Not those cheeks. Huh? Not those cheeks. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of bad things that can happen to your skin, <laughs> let's follow up on the Anacostia River story. <laughs> Oh, uh, so, for those of y'all that haven't heard the last podcast, but we were talking about how the Anacostia River in D.C. has been opened up after 50 years of being closed off to the public because of the sheer disgusting ass conditions. <laughs> the, uh, the Anacostia <laughs> River. Dog. Uh, That's nasty. So, anyway. I saw videos of people jumping in the swimming. Yes. Yo. So, I'm, I'm trying to come Y'all up with. So, so, for people that are not DC natives or people that are, haven't been to the area, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to, like, what's something that's parallel that they can understand how dirty this damn river is? Ugh. I don't know. They clean that, they clean that certain part of the river. They cleaned a certain part of the river, so you can get in it and swim in it. But why is that like coffee, though? Go for it. Yeah, but water. <laughs> Go for it. You clean one part of the the water, and you can swim in it like water don't move? Exactly. Exactly. So you exactly. Can, so what it's you... brown, though. Uh. <laughs> it's brown. <laughs> like sexy red booty hose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that for none of y'all. Uh, no, but get this. Problem. All right, so no, that, that that part of the water was crystal clear. No, but you know what's the, <laughs> you know what the funny part was? It got postponed. It got pushed back because of why sewage <laughs> leakage. <laughs> no, but I saw a video where people were getting in the water. Mm. No, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, there's a video where people. No, no, no. They the were water. they were allowed to swim, but what I'm saying is, like, you know, as a as a result, they're not allowed to either right now or oh. it was an issue of where they had to stop because sewage had run out on it, and yeah. It looks like sewage they're anyway. Dumb. They're dumb. So there's that. I ain't gonna tell yeah. y'all who. I ain't gonna tell y'all who who, who were getting in the who was getting in the water. Who the Griffins who? when they, the Griffins when they got them superpowers. <laughs> I, y'all already know who got in that water. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there wasn't one of us, Marcus, I'll tell you that. Marcus, look behind your wall. Look, look at your wall. Oh, look no, I know. Oh, I was already there. The I noticed that. <laughs> Listen, I was already you know there. You know that goddamn water. No. I was already Damn there. Man. I saw that shit on the news reports. I was like, mm, oddly <laughs> enough, there's no brown people in the brown water. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, it just... I like they said, you can get in that water and see a dead body come up. So, <laughs> some bones. Wouldn't wow. that be a sight to see? Mm, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well. That's crazy. Anyways, up next, I'm going to tell you what I'm dead for. We'll be right back. I would describe us as a traditional couple. I love blowjobs. I do. <laughs> but lately, we've been using lip labs just for her veggie wipes. <laughs> They're moist-scented wipes for my vagina. I picked them up at the store. It used to gross him out. It's true. I couldn't handle that, you know, vaginal smell that vaginas have. But ever since he brought them home... <laughs> Now I love going down on her. Beer flavor is his favorite. It is. Lip Labs, newly scented just for her veggie wipes. Natural, fabulous, fresh. It's good to know he's happy. I first met Doris in July of 1959. He was just getting out of the service, and he was a very handsome man. But I was just 19. I wasn't looking for the one. I asked her to the movies, Uh, North by Northwest, I seem to recall, but she said no. (laughs) I was persistent, though, and 55 years later, we're still fucking. 
When you've been boning the same special woman for as long as I have, you learn how to really turn her inside out with your rock-hard cock. Since we've met, we've fucked thousands of times. But even today, there's nobody I'd rather have deep-dicking me at night and fucking me again in the morning. People ask how we've lasted so long. And I say it's all about accepting change. When Doris was younger, she liked to be thrown around like a rag doll. But these days, she doesn't care what I do as long as I give her pussy the drilling it needs. On the other hand, he's still the same old Isaac. He loved coming on my tits 55 years ago, and he still does today. Well, heck, if it ain't broke. The amazing thing is that we've been fucking each other senseless for so long that our kids are all growing up and they're fucking people too. Jane is fucking John, Ashley's fucking Tim, Ross is fucking Lucille. They're all fucking very, very hard. My parents actually started fucking each other in 1927, and they continued banging in every conceivable position until my father died in 1977. I like to think that he taught me a little something about blowing my load in the same hole night after night. We want people to know how important it is to find someone to fuck. I mean, really fuck the living shit out of. If you can do that for 55 years, I guess you're doing something right. All right, so this week, I'm dead for Madonna. And I'm going to tell you why. Madonna. You said what? Leave that lady alone. No, I'm going to tell you why I'm dead for Madonna. Because, okay, so we we all heard the recent reports of where she went to the hospital and all that stuff. Yeah. (laughs) Something about she had a bacteria infection, which... But where... Wait. Is this a vagina thing? No. I mean, it wasn't a vagina thing. thing. When they say a bacterial infection, I didn't even hear him say that. (laughs) And this is why I'm dead for it. It was some kind of bacteria infection. (laughs) Okay, so this is why I'm dead for her. Because she got this bacterial infection, goes into the hospital, yada, yada, yada. This was like right on the heels of us mourning the loss of Tina Turner. So, you know, everybody's like, oh, shit, Madonna's number's up. And she didn't die. And I was thinking, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not mad. That she Were you disappointed? <laughs> um, I wasn't disappointed, <laughs> but I, I wasn't. Said, Hold on, no. They said, first of all, I wasn't. Say, I, wasn't oh. I wasn't gleeful. Like that. I wasn't gleeful. Let me tell you why. Because I've been dead for Madonna. I'm going to tell you why. Because it was for me <laughs> when she started adopting all them black children and stuff. You remember? Ooh, yeah. And then mm. she posted pictures of them rubbing her feet and stuff on Twitter. Y'all yeah. remember that? Yeah, I do. That, I ir- do. that shit irritated me. I hated the mm-hmm. fact that she... I hated that she did that. And then she... You know how like you be posting pictures of your baby or whatever and they do something silly and you post it and you be like hashtag that's my boy or some shit like that mm-hmm. her ass goes and on twitter posted like one of those adorable pictures of your baby or whatever but then was like hashtag did this nigga she, she did, did not say no she, she did, did. Not. this this was shit that she did years ago i have been over madonna that's why i was like oh her number's up i don't remember hmm. that i don't remember that oh go back I go back and look that. Go yeah, back and look. Is that? Is that? Is this dumbass? My invisible it's that. It's this. It's this rivalry that these older divas get with these younger uh, people. Like, I mean, you see it with Madonna. Like every time motherfucking Lady Gaga goes to do something, Madonna feel like she got to one up that by doing something over the top. This bitch has been kissing girls on stage. She kissed uh, Christina. Then she kissed like, you know, then she kissed Drake. Like this, like at this point, every time somebody does something, she Madonna Drake, turns. She all of them. Huh? It looks like her breath stink too. That's what I'm saying. And every time she feels like she's irrelevant, she does something over the top and becomes like this kiss slut or something. Is Kiss Blood a thing? 
anyways, so I just feel like she got them ass points. <laughs> you said what, Tigger? I said she got me when she got them ass points. Some things are huge. I just, I feel like it's that way in the industry. It's like these older girls, they feel threatened by these younger artists that come along. I mean, the same thing can be said for freaking Ariana Grande versus Mariah Carey. You know, even though Mariah, like for years, has been, I don't know her. I don't know her. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, we you didn't. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. Talk about Mariah. You didn't hear that when they was talking about Mariah and when they were like, "Oh, well, you know what? Uh, Ariana Grande is the next Mariah." And uh, Mariah was like, uh, "But she to not. what?" <laughs> but she not. Mariah was like, "Huh?" But she not. Exactly. I'm not saying that she is, but every time that you hear of a new and up and coming being the next somebody. If that somebody is still here to defend themselves, they're just like, oh, hmm. And then they feel like they got to do something extra relevant to stay relevant instead of just being the icons that they are. Now, back to... That's what Mariah does. That's what Mariah has always done. Can I just say this? As an artist... Mariah has always been Mariah. Okay. We need to stop comparing people. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody needs to be in their own lane and do their own thing. See... People wouldn't feel like that if you wouldn't feel like um, if the media or blogs would say, oh, they're the next so-and-so. Exactly. No, they're not the next so-and-so. I agree. They are who they are. Who they are. And that legend is who they are. I and agree. to stay that way. I agree. Somebody yep. should remind you of someone. There's only but one. But don't say they're the next because there's only there's- one. Exactly. I'll never see another Michael Jackson, and I dare somebody to say, "Oh, he's the next MJ." Sorry. No. Exactly. Oh, I totally agree with you. Now, speaking of not iconic, iconic people, now back to Madonna. So the fact that she a legend. What you talking about? She a legend. Madonna. I just Madonna's like a I said. Like I said, I mean, I'm. More, more, um, anybody. Like I said this week, I'm dead for Madonna because she couldn't be dead for us. So here we go. <laughs> As we're moving on. Uh, up next, we got the second half of the show. We'll I'm be done. right back. Keep it locked. I'm done. This is a public service announcement for Team Bacon. We here at WRTR Real Talk Radio work closely with law enforcement officials and EMTs and discovered that there's nothing that Bacon can't fix. Oh my God. 911, what is your emergency? I nailed my finger to a birdhouse accidentally. Do you have some bacon? Bacon, bacon, that's right. I had bacon left over from dinner last night. Rub some bacon on it. What? On your hand, just do it. Rub some bacon on it. That's all there is to it? What if I drop my phone? Rub some bacon on it. Or encounter my clone. Rub some bacon on it. I get mononucleosis. Rub some bacon on it. My nude pics get posted. Rub some bacon on it. Rub some bacon on it. Rub some bacon on it. Yeah. My home gets four clothes. Rub some bacon on it. My cat explodes. Rub some bacon on it. I wake up in a trunk. Rub some bacon on it. My friend goes steam punk. Rub some bacon on it. I meet real pirates. Rub some bacon on it. There's an awkward silence. Ain't nobody got time for that. Rub some bacon on it. I'm an adult with braces. Rub some bacon on it. I can't swim. Rub some bacon on it. I'm visited by Mr. Tim. Hey, boy. Rub some bacon on it. Rub some bacon on it. Rub some bacon on it. Rub Oh my god. What? We just talking about bacon. On WRTR Real Talk Radio. Hey everybody, my name is Orangey from the YouTube series Orangey and Purple. Booty pop, booty pop, booty pop, booty pop, booty pop, booty pop. On the show, we take a lot of crazy risks and a lot of crazy chances. But one thing that you will never see us do is text while driving. I'm 15, I do have a permit. <gasps> You see what can happen when you take your eyes off the road for just one split second. Not only are you putting yourself at risk, but you risking the lives of the other passengers in the car and everybody else on the road. Behind the wheel, you got a great responsibility. And ain't nothing responsible about operating a vehicle while trying to send a stupid ass text message. It ain't that serious. No, really. Like, it is not that serious. 
Remember, it can wait. No text is worth your life. Why are you even here? What? I just wanted to help promote safe driving. Girl, boom, I don't need your help. Get your own PSA. You always co-signing. You are such a bitch. Parody PSA created by Brooklyn Page. Follow her on Twitter at BrickyBrick1 and subscribe to the Orangey and Purple YouTube videos on her YouTube channel, BrickyBrick1. WRTR reminds you to never text and drive. It can wait. No, like, really, it can. Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. WRTR Real Talk Radio. Yep, and just like that, just like we were saying earlier in the show, if you're just tuning in now, of course, God, I gotta get used to the podcast versus the broadcast life, but either way, we're on Apple, we're on Spotify, we on YouTube, we're on iHeartMusic, we're pretty much everywhere that you are, take us with you, tell a friend, we truly appreciate the support, and all of that, my name is Marcus Smoot, my week has been shit! No, actually, my week has actually been pretty good. It's been pretty good. How about y'all? Well, my name is Miss Warren. Mm-hmm. Hi, how you doing? Hi. My week has been okay. Um, I am preparing to have my surgery on August 1st, so mm-hmm. things have been a little hectic. Mm. You get flat work. Yes, no, I ain't getting no plastic surgery. Wait, God gave me this. Oh, yo, yo, yo. So the day I die, I'm never getting surgery. Or what? I can buy a girdle. Oh. <laughs> what about you, Chicken? Anyway. Oh, go ahead. Um, yeah, so I've been just doing that, getting some stuff together. Um, there's been a couple changes with my van, but other than that, life is life. Okay. I know that's right. What about you, Tigger Man? How's things in your world? Tigger Man. What's up, y'all? My week has been good. Um, been just busy running my businesses, stuff like that. Why you sound like you about to eat Martin sandwiches? Okay. Never mind. Go ahead. Oh, (laughs) shit. <laughs> you was talking like bruh man there for a second. Bruh man the fifth floor. Bruh man <laughs> the fifth floor. Oh. Yeah. I just been good running my businesses and stuff like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Making this money the best way I can. Mm. 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 That's about it. Mm. How you making your money? Mm, I hear you. I'm making my money. <laughs> oh, money. Well, girl, I got this nail salon. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. You charge extra for design? Yes, girl, I have all that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay we'll talk. And they do bumps in the back. Oh, okay. Period. Yeah. No. It's like, nah, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, so my week is, my week is pretty good. Though, your I mean, mention's about to be no, lit. It's like, no. <laughs> what? I said, your mention's about to be no. lit. <laughs> No, nah, but I mean, it, it's, been, it's been going all right so far. I mean, it, to me, it's still the beginning of the week. Tomorrow will be the middle of the week, so. I feel yeah, you. So far, it's going good. I work from home, thank God, so. Mm. Oh, can I? Out oh, so, speaking of money, I, I've been spending mine. Y'all know what I did? Guess what I got to do? What? So, I got to go to a dispensary. So, since. Bye. I did. It was neat. Okay, so. For those of y'all that don't know, so for those of y'all that don't know, we just became uh, legalized here Legal. in the state Maryland. of Maryland. Yes, yes, yes. Woo, woo. So you can well, like, you. So. so you can go up to the store and like order it like a double quarter founder and stuff. And yep. I mean, you know, it's cool. So I but go. You have a limit. You only, you only have a limit that you can get. Oh, how much? But what, see me. What's the limit? See me, I can get. I can get what I want. You say how many milligrams? A hundred. Oh, in a month or? I think it's a month. It might be a week. I'm not sure, but it's, at yeah, a time, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all you can get. No, I figured that. No, yeah. but um, so I go into the dispensary, right? It's real professional how it goes. So you go in, and like they have a line that has like for, I guess the people that get it for medical purposes. Yeah. But then that's you me. got, but then you got yeah, another line. 
that everybody else goes to and they have like this bitch standing there and she got an iPad and Richard? shit and like mm-hmm. once they put it, once they take your driver's license they put you into the computer and then the computer puts yeah. you into a seat the and then you, like, yeah and then you sit there mm-hmm. like you about to like go get vaccine uh, you know like you about to go get your booster shot and shit until yeah. they call you yeah. up you go in there they hand you a catalog and then i'm sitting there and i'm looking at they had the little tv and you know how they run ads and stuff on tvs and stuff that's not how they yeah. did well they had the ad but it was like oh meet our staff and then it would have like this is keisha keisha's favorite strain of weed is this these are her hold on it was like these are her favorite things to eat when she's high and these are her favorite munchies and this is her favorite effect and i'm just like oh my god should we really be doing like what yes i feel like yes we should i feel like liquor stores should have the same thing Cause you go in there and it'd be like this to be this is Rodney the drunk that you see on the street. His favorite is bourbon. <laughs> His favorite pastimes are passing out drunk in the alley. No, and, you know, no, that's not the same. No. I I think it's a good idea, and I like that dispensaries do that because some people really don't know they what don't. to get, and it's helpful for me. I like for people to be descriptive and to tell me like what does this do. How is this going to make me feel? You know what I'm saying? So that is very yeah. helpful that they did that. Yeah. So and with me personally, I don't like um, what is it? The, the sativa strain? I don't. I can't deal with that. that. No, I'm an no, no, but the sativa, the, 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 the sativa, no sativa, it's sativa. The mm-hmm. sativa um, <clears throat> that actually gives you energy. That's supposed I, to give you. It, it keeps. It gives uh, me it panic attacks. Thank you. <laughs> okay so again so i'm brand new to this i'm brand new to this so wow. which one you say who me me indica oh yeah indica is the one that breaks yeah down. yeah that's 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 but my then mind there's, but then there's a um hybrid the, yeah that's a hybrid of both actually and I normally, I actually, I like the hybrid in a sativa. I like sativa because I like it to keep me going. I'm, you know what? <laughs> got that wild berry. Period. I know what, I know okay, what, okay, period. But with the, uh, with the Maryland law, with the Maryland law, Look, it says that left. you can have up to 1.5 ounces. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. So with the Maryland law, it says that you can have up to 1.5 ounces of cannabis flour, mm-hmm. um, 12 or 12 grams of concentrated cannabis, which is the vapes, mm-hmm. the vapes there. and or you can just have a, or with the edibles, it's a total of 750 milligrams. Is that for medical? No, this is for um, regular. This is not for medical. This is for regular. Hmm. I feel like medical, medical is different. I feel like the legalization of weed about to change up the game for a lot of stuff. Like, like kids will be going to their prom and be giving people like weed leaf corsages and Shut stuff. Up. You know, <laughs> like no, because they still make it at a certain age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm, maybe. Oh well. Anyway, so I guess we're here for the second half of the show. Up first will be the Wi Files. That'll be right after this. Keep it. Because we ain't going nowhere, neither is you, bitch. Toilets. Toilets are made so that people can sit down and take a shit. Anyone can sit on a toilet. And if the toilet is large enough, two people can shit together. And tell jokes. Or make up stories. Or just listen. Toilets are for people. And that is why toilets are like Facebook. Magazines. Febreze, toilet paper. These are things that people use when they shit together so they can open up and connect about ideas and music and other things people share. Handle toilets are just like Facebook. Button toilets, just like Facebook. Self flush toilets, just like Facebook. No flush toilets, Facebook. We all want to connect. Sometimes we just don't know how. That's why we have toilets and Facebook. Why do you have roaches? Why? 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 Why
Do my children hate me? On WRTR Real Talk Radio. Why do my vagina burn? The truth is out there. Explaining the unexplained. We're answering why to the questions you want to know by taking your tweets at WRTR Radio. We take your emails at station... Or actually, actually, what's damn? Damn! We take your emails at WRTR uh, radio at gmail.com. That's the new one. Okay, so WRTR radio at gmail.com. And we take your Facebook messages at facebook.com forward slash WRTR real talk radio. Ah, this is the Waffle House. Remember, the uh-huh. truth is out there. And for those of you that are just learning what the Waffle Files are and how to send your questions, like I said, do it by sending us an email, but we're just answering why. Who wants to go first? I can go. All right, Tigger, what you got? My why question is, why do your Hold friends on, who is family... this from? Is this from you? Just from me. Oh, hell. Yeah. My why. Okay. <laughs> We're at right Mm-hmm. My why is, why do friends and family feel they need to compete with you? Oh. Hmm. I want to know that. I have one family member. I'll get something. I'll buy something. Let's say I buy a new phone. Let's say let's say I buy like a let's say like an iPhone 13. Uh huh. And they see me with it, and they'll go, "Oh, oh I'm about to get the I, I'm about to get the iPhone 14 Plus the next day they end." Um. So Why do you need to compete with me. Um. So we've been friends for a very long time, and that's kind of what you do. So is this a family trait? Oh, you. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I don't compete with you. No, you don't compete, but you do be copping shit. You like if somebody I got it, it I want it. But that's the thing. First of all, don't try to come to me. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. You try to call me up. When I get something, I get it because I want it. I don't get it because I see somebody else with it. No, honestly, I, I believe. Uh, uh, it just goes back to what I say. It's people stunting and stunts and shows. They want to do it for the gram. People want you to, th- like, they can't let somebody get a leg up. They will damn near kill themselves trying to but then, impress people then, that don't matter. But then come to you a few days later asking, can they borrow some money? Oh. Why? Well, <laughs> the truth Why? Is <laughs> <laughs> the truth is Why? out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to know. Miss Lyric, you go or me? <laughs> you can go. All right. My why comes from Earl from H-Town. He wants to know why people in the office insist on these potlucks but get mad when I don't want to participate. Some have even outright said that I think that I'm better than everyone else. No, you just don't want to eat other people's food. You don't know what they're saying. I mean, they right. I've seen cat hair and food. I've seen food that had cat hair in it. A potluck. At work, and I was like, "Oh hell no!" All I know is everybody's so creative, and we don't want no parts of it. I know it wasn't pubes. And who put and who put and who put raisins and peanuts and potato salad? Them um mel- non melanated people. <laughs> mm-hmm. No. Especially the I'll ones, especially the ones y'all start dating and then be, bring to the family functions, and we gotta sit there and act like you know, like we including them, even though ain't nobody touching whatever it is in the fucking pot that they brought. Mm-hmm. Not one. Mm-hmm. 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 This is my mm-hmm. new boo, Susan, and she's brought this. Okay. Child. Mm. Why? What you got there? What you got there? Sierra from Instagram says, and I read, why once you get into a relationship, now all of a sudden everybody want to come out the woodworks? (laughs) Oh, that always happens. That always happens. That always happens. Because they see you got somebody now. Mm. 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 That that, that, that is crazy. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Um, Marcus. You say what? Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thoughts. All I know, my whole thing is this. 
people do come out of the woodworks whether you are available or not, especially nowadays. But it does tend to happen a lot during those times. So, I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. Well, I think because people want to be messy yeah. and people are miserable and misery loves company, that's why you have to deny that invitation. Mm. Yep. Some people don't know how to do that, though. Yeah. Mm. Some, some, but girl, hold on. Like, 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 um, like Gary mm. from where, where was he from? Oh, no, that was my person. Yeah. The yeah. person? That was my person. Who was the person that she was, um, that was Crystal. Just um, like Crystal. Oh, Crystal Jump. Okay. Yeah, it was anonymous. But she oh, wanted okay. anonymous okay. With, them, with them names, though. But we can't go off. Oh, because if they Stop listen, if, if they listen, sorry, girl, your meow cat's out the bag. Yeah. Uh, because the truth is out there, and so is yes. your dirty laundry. And that wraps it up yes. for this week's Y Files. We're always answering why for you at WRTR Radio on Twitter, WRTR Radio at gmail.com, and on Facebook at WRTR Real Talk Radio. So, uh, do y'all want to do news to make you nauseous next, or do you want me to tell you, uh, uh, let's, you know what? Let's do news to make you nauseous up next. Yeah. Uh, Sounds good. All right. I would describe us as a traditional couple. I love blowjobs. I do. <laughs> but lately, we've been using lip labs just for her veggie wipes. <laughs> They're moist, scented wipes for my vagina. I picked them up at the store. It used to gross them out. It's true. I couldn't handle that, you know, vaginal smell that vaginas have. But ever since he brought them home... Now I love going down on her. <laughs> Beer flavor is his favorite. It is. Lip Labs, newly scented just for her veggie wipes. Natural, fabulous, fresh. It's good to know he's happy. I first met Doris in July of 1959. He was just getting out of the service, and he was a very handsome man. But I was just 19. I wasn't looking for the one. I asked her to the movies, uh, North by Northwest, I seem to recall, but she said no. <laughs> I was persistent, though, and 55 years later, we're still fucking. When you've been boning the same special woman for as long as I have, you learn how to really turn her inside out with your rock-hard cock. Since we've met, we've fucked thousands of times. But even today, there's nobody I'd rather have deep-dicking me at night and fucking me again in the morning. People ask how we've lasted so long, and I say it's all about accepting change. When Doris was younger, she liked to be thrown around like a rag doll. But these days, she doesn't care what I do as long as I give her pussy the drilling it needs. On the other hand, he's still the same old Isaac. He loved coming on my tits 55 years ago, and he still does today. Well, heck, if it ain't broke. The amazing thing is that we've been fucking each other senseless for so long that our kids are all growing up and they're fucking people too. Jane is fucking John, Ashley's fucking Tim, Ross is fucking Lucille. They're all fucking very, very hard. My parents actually started fucking each other in 1927 and they continued banging in every conceivable position until my father died in 1977. I like to think that he taught me a little something about blowing my load in the same hole night after night. We want people to know how important it is to find someone to fuck. I mean really fuck the living shit out of. If you can do that for 55 years, I guess you're doing something right. And now, now. Say what? Now. News to make you nauseous on WRTR Real Talk Radio. Let's go. These are some of the stories you might not read about in the New York Times, the Washington Post, or the Wall Street Journal. It's news to make you nauseous. Alright, my story is exhausting and it, it's uh, it's gut-wrenching and I, I hate it. I hate it. Now that I'm looking at it, it's going to upset me. But So who wants to go first? I can. All right. Go for it. Say what? Colorado. Say what? All right. All right. 
A 64-year-old man was confronted by an organization titled Colorado P Patrol, which prides itself on taking down pedophiles who prey on innocent children. I thought you said P Patrol. No, Peed. Oh, Peed. Oh, okay, Pedo. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, when when arriving to the arranged meeting spot, the old man was greeted by an officer of the organization who asked him why the hell he was meeting with the child for sex. He responded out of curiosity, the offender replied. The 64-year-old claimed that this is the first time he's ever acted on these impulses. Text messages show that he was prepared to have sex with the child and even described what he wanted to happen. After being informed that he committed several felonies, he was then instructed to call his wife and Uh tell her what he had tried to do. Mm, Sure did. The woman was heard sobbing uncontrollably, asking if the marriage was all a lie. The 64-year-old man admitted that his behavior was disgusting and that he had never touched a child before. After the phone call, he was handed over immediately to police officers at the scene. To be where he was locked underneath the jail. Let me tell you what. I saw this damn video. I saw this damn video. I saw, I saw that too. Yeah, I saw the video, so I heard the whole thing. It was on TikTok, actually, for me. And I was just, I was floored when I heard this. And I'm just like, really? You yep. expect us to believe that in 64 years, this was your first time ever doing this? Because everybody, I mean, I'm not saying that things don't happen at 64, you know, years that's new to you. I mean, shit. But they should be normal shit at 64 right. years old you should be doing skydiving for the first time because you're about to die anyway you should do <laughs> <laughs> you should be doing <laughs> you should be doing like you know oh well my wife ate my butt for the first time at 64 years old that that uh-huh. kind of shit not fondling children you sick fuck Ugh. why are people like this and of course it wasn't one of us and I'm mad because when he called his wife, he was just as calm as hell on the phone. He like, really was. He was calm and as it hell. Was blowing me. Right. He said, what the hell? Blowing me. That's crazy. That she is was, crazy. And she even said it herself. She was like, you're all calm. And what is happening? She thought it was a joke. Right. Yeah. He just kept saying, Are you, you're kidding, right? You're kidding. Yep. There's Are no you way. Kidding? Are you kidding? And then she was oh like, "You God. just threw our whole life away," and right. I was just, yep. and I like, I can, I can, I can hear. Uh, I mean, y'all you know, I mean, they were white tears, but they were real tears. And and I ain't gonna hold you. Mm. One thing that I noticed in that audio, that wife did sound younger than him. Oh, didn't she? She, she did. sounded yeah, younger she than him. Yeah. So I feel like. Those urges have always been there, and you thought you were slick and could get away with it while you were out of town. Right. Absolutely not. Oh, this That's is my great. first time. Okay, Bruce Jenner. Mm-hmm. Wait, mm-hmm. Waiting until, and I'm not misgendering. Allegedly. I'm not misgendering Allegedly. Caitlyn before y'all come for me. I'm not misgendering Caitlyn. What I'm saying is that at 64. Bruce decided that he was a woman, so at 64, this guy decided he was a pedo. It's just, uh, why do people? I hate people peopling. Mm, that's people crazy. be peopling. The people be peopling. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Mm, All, All right. right, I guess I go next. Your turn. Right. Go ahead. Say what? Clayton County, Georgia. Say, Say what? Word. Georgia. <laughs> Clayton County. What y'all doing Clayton up County. there? Clayton County. <laughs> ah. Okay. How y'all living? Okay. A six year old boy in Clayton County is fighting for his life after his mother's boyfriend beat him over the course of a weekend. Oh, well, now I feel bad about falling out. <laughs> Portia Wells, six-year-old son, is in extreme grave condition at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Wells and her boyfriend, thirty-six-year-old Napoleon. Napoleon, you know yeah. what? You know. Hold on, Napoleon hold on, hold on. Take a man, take a man. Hold on, hold on. First off, what? I'm gonna need you to speak a little bit more into the mic, and then secondly, Napoleon. Oh 
<laughs> okay, you can't keep coming up with these things. Okay. The, like Listen. this is a sad story, and you can't this, keep no, coming up with these loops and turns. This is name. Okay. This is Wells, Wells and her boyfriend, thirty-six year old Napoleon Tracy Ace Jr., were arrested and charged with child cruelty. Cruelty. Mm. The boy's injury included bleeding in the brain, blood caught in the lungs, broken mm-hmm. bones and severe bruising all over the body. It is not yet said whether or not the kid was taller than the father, Napoleon. The, shut up. <laughs> Actually, shut up. it sounds like... So, it was said that... Complex. Yes, it, it was said that eight believe the six-year-old stole $80 from him and gave it to the family's roommate. Eight then assaulted the child every day for the entire weekend before the most severe beating, which ha- yeah, before the <laughs> most severe beating. That's Miss Wells, Miss Wells <laughs> advised once the assault was over. But check this out. Stop! Don't laugh. That's not funny. I'm not laughing at that. The edible just hit. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the mother, Miss. Oh my god. The mother, Miss Wells, advised once the assault was over, her child was unconscious, unresponsive, covered in bruises, and foaming at the mouth. You know Ms. what? Miss Wells advised that she attempted to revive, revive her son um, with a cold bath, but it did not work. What? <laughs> yes. Wells ignored that her child suffered. Her child was suffering. It was said that she got um she while her child was suffering. She got her nails done and did her normal daily activities <laughs> until she finally decided to take him to the hospital. You know what? Fuck her. Yes. Fuck her. Uh, Everybody does not deserve to be a fucking parent. And you all. are one of those bitches who don't yep. need no child. Because mm. I know you fucking lying. Bitch, you went to go get your nails done? Mm-hmm. Yep. And your baby is got bleeding on the brain because of your raggedy ass boyfriend? Mm-hmm. Beat her? Yep. <clears throat> First of all, you need to be underneath the jail. He need to be underneath the jail. Everybody who witnessed that shit and didn't say nothing or do nothing needs to be underneath that motherfucking jail. She beat that. She let him beat that boy throughout the whole weekend. Mm. He was getting beaten throughout the whole weekend. Mm-mm. And it be these Mm-mm. same type. It be these same type of people sitting there waving their finger and their chicken neck, telling the gays why they can't have kids. But you do this on your watch, okay, sis? First of all, oh. I don't even believe that the be- that the baby then took the eighty dollars. I believe the roommate took it and then fucking blamed the baby. <laughs> that exactly. makes the most sense, right? Because yep. <clears throat> yep. clearly, there's no adult in their right mind in that household. At and all. that makes the most. And how old, sense. how old was the kid again? Six. <clears throat> so. You thought that your entire six-year-old made a whole heist. Like this was this was like right. literally. Basically. Like and, yeah. and then what exactly was he gonna buy some motherfucking cheese? It's like what are we talking here? <laughs> you know, like no, what? Now, 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 some goddamn animal crackers and shit. The roommate stole the money and blamed the child. He tried to say the child gave it to him. Yes. I guarantee uh, that's what happened. No. And if that's the if that was the case, did you ask him where he got it from? No. Uh, if he if he went if he gave you this eighty dollars, did you ask him where he give it from? Where he get it from, or did you tell him to go get that eighty dollars, right. that money from where it was at, and give it to you? Mm. Or did you go and get it yourself and blame and that then blame baby? him? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh. Uh. But yeah, that's what I had. Disgusting. All right. For my new to make you know. All right, this story is draining, but okay. Say what, Massachusetts? Say what? Say what? Who? Massachusetts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, parents in a school district there are expressing their disappointment over a years old decision to eliminate advanced placement for math and middle school. So they've been basically phasing out 
the advanced math co- uh, courses in grades 6 through 8 around 2017 and then officials noticed um, like racial disp- uh, disparities in the program so mm. it, um, yeah it gets worse so students who were uh, being placed in the advanced uh, math were overwhelmingly white and Asian while the lower level courses were filled primarily with black and Latino students yeah. Mm-hmm. And here again, uh, and the, of course, That's I mean, ridiculous. it's obvious ridiculous. why it makes me nauseous. But at the same time, why are we still dealing with this? <laughs> really? It will never end. It will never end. I mean, you, you do this and then you think back to, like, I think it was back in 2015, that one uh, white, ki- I'm sorry, that one Indian kid that uh, applied to the college and tried to say that he applied as an Indian, or I'm sorry, he applied as a white person and was denied. And when he applied as a black person, he was accepted. Yeah, it goes... Because of his skin color. Yeah, it just, it goes back to all of... uh, All of this is just full circle for me, so... uh. My thing is, why was he applying, applying... as a white person. Oh, I'm talking. You talking about that story back then? He was. A, he was basically. He made the point that he wasn't being accepted because of his race, and that black people were. And that's oh, you know what white people well, have been saying been for you know oh well you know all these uh, you know programs and stuff to get black kids into colleges they're unfair because I'm white and because I'm white I don't get those advantages and I have to work even harder blah 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 but meanwhile but you, you got born with these advantages though uh, exactly you are given these advantages you and until to the choir. until we as a nation uh, mm. comes together and you all take responsibility for that and you know that it's always going to be like that that's why I can't stand when have. people say there's no is, racism doesn't, doesn't, doesn't exist. Yes, it does. Yes, it we does. just had yes, it does. Um, a House of Representative person refer to black people as colored people in 2023. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Colored people. So yeah, it's 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 not gonna go anywhere no time soon. Uh, well, I mean, you just look at situations like that, and then you got these fuck nuggets over here talking about, oh, well, hmm, um, you got them, like, purposefully putting the white kids in programs that they're low-key discriminating the black kids, black and colored kids against, so, yeah, uh, I don't know, I don't like it, uh, and that is what makes me nauseous, so... If you want these and more nauseating news stories, make sure you follow us on Twitter at WRTR Radio. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and of the like. I'm at Marcus Smoot, M-A-R-C-U-S-S-M-O-O-T. I am at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, not only fans, that's Tony. At <laughs> oh. Bravado, period. <laughs> and, you can, and you can find me, Tigger Man, on Facebook at Tony Tigger Man Nelson, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter? <laughs> I don't have that site. What was you talking about? Implants and stuff earlier? You got some silly cones. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> that's just do a look. That's the drink I just had. No. Oh. <laughs> you and your titter. Oh, no, you can follow me. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Tiggerman82. <laughs> you know and what? Only, uh, huh? You know what? Y'all are my only fans, babe. Listeners, you're welcome. Yeah. That Tigger Man. Uh, we, you just dropped that gem. Cause th- you just dropped that gem. Cause listeners, that's a gem right there. That idea, what? titter. Mm-hmm. Titter. Uh, <laughs> I'm the first to say it. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Oh, no! So up next on Real Talk. <laughs> so up next on our Real Talk oh. segment, we're simply asking you one question. When it comes to past situationships, so, for example, if your friend or family member started dating somebody that you were previously intimate with, would or should you tell them or would you just like basically keep your mouth shut? Would you keep your mouth closed? Will we talk about it? Are you bringing it up? All this and more. Keep it locked. Real Talk's up next. 
Well, we met about two months ago at my friend Marsha's 31st birthday dinner, and I immediately noticed Josh. <laughs> yeah, I, I can be a little shy sometimes, um, <laughs> but I said to myself, you better go up and introduce yourself, because if you don't, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Um, and we started talking, and uh, well, here we are. Now we're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were thrilled when I told them I was finally fucking Josh. He had been eating my pussy for so long, I began to wonder if he was ever going to actually take out his dick and <laughs> stuff my hole. Deborah's not my typical fuck, um, and my friends were a little bit skeptical, uh, but they're coming around. They're starting to see that, um, you know, this is the woman that I want to empty my balls in for the rest of my life. I actually still remember exactly where we were when we first fucked. It was right over there. Josh was behind me and my face was pressed up against the glass the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was giving her this tremendous pounding, you know, just really deep in there and that's when I realized at that moment that fuck like this comes around only once, so I better not blow it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember what you said to me that night? Of course. <laughs> Fill me with your cock. Fuck my mouth, daddy. God damn it. Go deeper. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Keep fucking your little pump station. Come, Come on, on my back. back. <laughs> <laughs> I spent so much time looking for a woman that I could plow so hard that she'd walk funny for two days straight, and I'm just really glad that I never gave up. No one should. I mean, the fucking you're waiting for is out there. It was for me. <laughs> Look at you! You sitting on your mama couch, smoking weed, popping out babies, and eating up all your mama food. You ain't shit. Your lazy ass ain't doing shit. Why don't you do something with your life? Get your stupid ass up off the couch. Go to the Netherest Institute. At Netherest, you get the hands on training that you need to stop being a motherfucking bum that you are. Now, being that you are indeed a lazy bum on the couch, I know your ass is full of excuses. What about my thug life? What about my pimp? What about my pregnancy? Don't nobody want to hear that shit? You can be a thug at Neverwitz. All right. Now, who got the motherfucking answer? I do. Got that loud. Yo, yo, yo. I got that loud. You can turn tricks at Neverwitz. You can have your baby right there in the classroom. Just clean up after yourself. <sighs> Hey, my baby, it ain't my baby. Yo, 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 I got that loud. The teachers at Neverest know that your lazy ass don't want to be there. Neither do they. You skim through shit so fast, it'll be a miracle if you pass your exams. But that's beside the point. At least your ass can say you in school. Call up there now. Don't you want to be fly? Don't you want to be balling? Don't you want to be in this big ass boat? Who motherfucker so do I? And the sooner you skin this contract, the sooner I can do shit like that, then call now. You still sitting there, bitch? I said call now. Parody commercial created by Bricklin Page. Follow her on Twitter at BrickyBrick1 and subscribe to the Orangey and Purple YouTube videos on her YouTube channel, BrickyBrick1. Keep it in 100. It's real talk. Yep, we're definitely keeping it real right here on WRTR Real Talk Radio. So, as discussed before our break, we're asking you this question this week. If your friend or family member started dating somebody that you were previously intimate with, would or should you tell them, or would you just keep your mouth shut? Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, A lot of y'all chimed in. Y'all did. Y'all chimed in on... Instagram, you chimed in on Twitter, you chimed in on Facebook, so we definitely mm-hmm. appreciate your feedback and all that goodness. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, let's just get right into it. So, what say okay. you? What say me? you? Me? Yeah. I have a lot. I don't know if y'all want me to read all of them. Okay. Some of them have me racking up. What is your opinion? Mm -hmm. Um, Go ahead, give me your opinion. opinion, My opinion, um, yes, I would tell them I'll let them know that I 
was pre- previously involved with the, that person. I will let them know, and then I'll just let them know. I'm in it, 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 it. You want to stay with them? Go ahead. That's for you. But I'm going to let you know because eventually it's going to slide out some kind of way. It's going to come out some kind of way. Slide it's going to slide out. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, going to come out some kind of way. It's going to come out some kind of way. So, woo. yeah, I'll let my friend or family never know that I, I know that I know that person. But, I mean, if you want to continue on doing what you're doing with them, go ahead. It, it's not bothering me at all. Because mm. mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not that person anymore, so. Yes, bitch. Busting on the concrete like a bag of ice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so. There you go. Mm. But that's mine. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah, I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. Are you? I am. I'm in agreement. So, um, because I would want to know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not that I want to know all the details or whatever, but just give me a heads up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me know something. Yeah. You know. And then after that, hey, <laughs> that's your situation. Exactly. Because I ain't <laughs> that ain't my business. Yeah, I want to know. Look, 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 Mark. It's better to know than the, than it to be like. Um, just put on you, like and that you put it out, on. and then you just see something, and you be like, "For real, this was." You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be surprised by nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I would rather be like, "Hey, you know." Tell I, it. I feel like it's a double-edged sword. I do because you, for one, you got that stigma of <laughs> you always got them people that once they see you doing well no matter what it is they gonna throw their little spin on it so it's like it's certain people that will purposefully will like wait until you start dating somebody and they can't wait to tell you oh i hit it first or i did that oh <laughs> yeah wait till they do that thing with their tongue that kind of shit so yes but is that a friend is that a true friend because people who do stuff like not that not at all i feel like you're a hater and you weren't no friend to and me that's why, And that's why and that's why I say it's a double-edged sword. Because uh-uh. at that point, because you're you're on one side, you're like, you don't want to be that friend that's like, oh, well, I hit that. And especially if you're that friend that's got a lot of bodies. If you're that friend that's got a lot of bodies and like every other person you meet, they be like, oh, hit that one too. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But see, here's the but thing, it's though. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's how you say it. Yeah, that's my whole thing. You know? And the way you just said it, it was like, <clears throat> I was with this person, but I know you wanted them too, so you couldn't wait for me to get to yeah. with them so you can do it. And then here go me. Oh, I hit that. Oh, I got. Nah. That's nah. being messy. Nah, that's being messy. You don't have to be messy. You can that's get some kind of information being without real being messy. messy. I've had somebody say you that know? to me before, believe it or not. Like, I was with somebody, and then after we broke up, then this person was, like, professing their, you know, their, their like of me. And, oh, I couldn't wait until you were single again. And I'm just like, what? Oh, and I know what was Exactly. I just thought about this. Exactly. So you know I'm not lying. So it's happened. Okay. Yes. Yes. It happens. Well, it does. at least you know. There you go. Hey. And if you choose to deal with it, hey, that's on you. On you. Mm. Let the that's cards that's fall true. where they may. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <clears throat> off the internet, um, let's see. Marmella Wood says, I definitely would, mainly because they all still have feelings for me. Okay, cocky. Plus, I <laughs> personally don't feel like uh, touching anyone that my friend had, has had. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Community dick? Mm. Y'all don't want it? No community? No. Okay. Anyway, so that was my... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, I posted it on, um, on TikTok also. So... Uh, Somebody, uh, AJ said, you got to speak up. That's too messy. Uh, Kelly says, depending on the situation, uh, it was a one-time thing. Prob- if it was a one-time thing, probably not. But if they're toxic uh, on a relationship or 
if they're a toxic person in a relationship, then yes. And then uh, Justin said I'd wait a few weeks and let it get good before I stepped into everything. Oh, okay. Uh, y'all, y'all messy, but go ahead. Mm-hmm. You've had a lot more. So my time. dad commented. Your dad commented. My dad commented. Okay. And he says. Yep, tell them the whole story. Better than finding out at the friends or family cookout or at a family reunion. You know once that liquor starts pouring, somebody telling all the ugly secrets. Wow. <laughs> yep. And, and it's, so you know what? It's, so it's mixed true. reviews, that's though. True. It's mixed reviews because Derek says, mind your business. If y'all are in the past, keep it that way unless you still want to hit that. Okay. Um... Let's see. My aunt said, tell them what's in the dark always comes to light. Somebody else said, I'd rather be on the show giving my thoughts. You said (laughs) what? Somebody else said, if Timothy Howard says, I'd rather be on the show giving my thoughts. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Um... Yuri says, moral obligation to say something, unless they popped up already in love, or if you know them well enough to know that they wouldn't want to know. Mm. And I think that's fair. Mm. Mm. Wait, so, wait, Tim Richards said what? Said he'd rather be on the show. Timothy Howard says, I'd rather be on the show giving my thoughts. (laughs) Timothy Howard, (laughs) ah. All right, Timmy Ho, sounds like you need your own podcast. Anyways. Being messy. <laughs> um, I got one more. All right. Reading on, uh, she says, I always judge based on how I would feel in, in the reverse of the situation. I would want to know. I, do, I don't go behind my family or friends. It would make a difference to me morally. Therefore, knowing keeps me from feeling weird. I get to make the decision that is right for me and what I believe is right. Mm. And I like that. Mm. I like that. Well, so, yeah. Y'all had a lot to say. Uh, y'all did. That. Y'all did. I mean, I still feel like it's a double-edged sword because on uh-huh. one, you know, one side, you don't want to be that friend that's, you know, oh, hit that too. Mm. Yeah, that one I hit. But then at the same time, you don't want to be that person that if it comes up, they looking at you kind of crazy because you didn't say something. Because you didn't something. say anything. Right. And right. you could just, I mean, but then you also have that option of playing it off like, you know what? I got real fucked up one night and I thought they looked familiar, but I ain't really know. You know. I mean, see, this it depends <laughs> on the situation for me. Because if it was something that you dealt with somebody in high school and then 10, 15 years later, one of your friends pops up at a party or something with the ex-boyfriend from like senior, when you was a senior or something, or when you first um, got to college or something like that, to me, that's different. But if it was like one or two years ago, right. that friend should know. I'm a sister. Yeah. That friend should know was messing with at that time right depending on how long you've been friends mm-hmm. so it just depends case by case situation why did i just look up at the camera and see tigger man chewing like a cow i mean damn this this is the last this is the last segment you can't wait to get my damn taco this, you, this is the goddamn last segment you can't wait to stuff your face till we motherfucking finish god damn Shut up. Your pretty hoodie messing up my eyes. What? How about that? How about that? Yo, hungry ass. I'm sitting there. Why is his mouth moving like that? Why is he chewing like a cow? Shut up. My stomach was growling. But anyway. (laughs) So I guess that'll wrap up this week's WRTR Real Talk Radio. But y'all... Keep in contact with us. Once again, my Twitter, Instagram, all that. M-A-R-C-U-S-S-M-O-O-T. I'm Marcus Smooth. And my name is Miss Lyric Bravado, and you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. 
Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, not Titter, because we don't yeah. work like that over here. And that is L-Y-R-I-C-B-R-A-D-A-D-O. Feel me? M-O-U-S-E. M-O-U-S-E. Tigger Man. Tigger Man, I feel like... M-O-N-E-Y. Hey, Tigger Man. And this your boy, Tigger Man. I feel like you should change your handles. I feel like you should change your uh, your Instagram names to at Tittle. Shut up. Shut up. Anyway, and once again, this is your boy Tigger Man. Uh-huh. And you can follow me at on Facebook mm-hmm. <laughs> at Tony Tigger Man Nelson mm-hmm. and on Twitter and Instagram at Tigger Man 82. And like I said before, you can follow me on Holy Fans too. And Titter. And soon to be Titter. <laughs> 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 Hashtag Ariola. Y'all stupid. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Anyways, we appreciate y'all listening to us. We'll holler at y'all next week. Please tell a friend. Yes. Yes. Bye. Your choice for today's hottest hits and yesterday's favorites. WRTR Real Talk Radio.